What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we are gonna be doing an inexpensive mod to get wider fenders. So you're probably saying to yourself, what the heck are you talking about? If you look at this side of the car, you can see, you know, fitment is pretty good. You know, we got it, uh, nice and lined up however you can see under compression that this could possibly hit or could have possibly hit when it was kicked in a bit more now this fender is actually kicked out about an inch now if you guys have ever seen this lots of people with miatas do it uh, lots of race car drivers do it to stuff wider tires under the front of their car if you don't have a wide body now this is just a really easy way to do it I think it looks cool. It looks very race car in my opinion. You'll see a lot of old school like DTM cars and stuff like that doing it this way. If you guys go to the track, you will see this quite a bit. And you might say, well, can you even open your door? Yes, you can. Because it opens like that. And there's no issues. From the front of the car, you don't even really notice it. It does give the car a wider stance and a wider appearance in the front, however. And it looks pretty rad in my opinion. Now, if you're saying, well, why don't you just cut up the fenders? You could do that. Um, that's definitely an option. You could do over fenders. Uh, why don't you do a wide body? Well, you know, I may actually do that in the future. I have some ideas to do some stuff here, but that'll be after I get some, uh, some wider tires and I'll be doing that out of steel most likely. Make sure to hit that subscribe button guys because we are doing an engine and transmission swap on this thing coming up super, super soon. It's waiting for it and I will do the reveal of that bad boy and I cannot wait to get some more beans. In this thing so as you can see right here this is the stock fender and the stock fender alignment and like i'm saying when i get under compression you know i, I do have a little bit of a uh, hitting up under here you know i have rolled the fender lips up and under and yes you can roll and pull the fender lips which you know basically i've already done but you know every once in a while you're gonna get something hanging up especially when you uh have a lot of lock into it and you get a little bit of a bit of compression the suspension you know you can definitely like Hit your fenders and no one really wants bacon fenders. I don't think that looks really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottom fender portion off. So I'm gonna take out some of these bolts right here. On my car, I'm gonna take some of the inner fender liner bolts out and those are gonna, you know, attach to the car. And there's a couple of bolts on the inside of here. We're basically gonna kick this out and make a bracket. So I'll show you guys how to do that. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove some of these bottom fender bolts. On my car, most of these are eight millimeters. So I'm just gonna start with this bottom one right here. This is where we're gonna actually make the bracket on the bottom of the car. So this is where it's gonna go and where it's gonna kick out the fender. For now, I'm gonna keep taking my fender bolts off until I can get this part to move out. I'm gonna get up in my fender well and actually remove my fender liner. My other side I already have off. Uh, this side I actually still have on, surprisingly enough. But uh, as you can see, sometimes my tires have uh, rubbed. There's a little gouge right there. Maybe you can kind of see it. See that little, little chunk out of the tire right there? That's from uh, previous rubbing. Also the fender, also the wheel rubs right here too, a little bit on full lock. So we're gonna get that out of here I think as well. So I think I got most of these out. So now I can go ahead and get the fender liner out. I still got one more screw right here. So I'm gonna take that out and then we can rip this whole guy right on out of here. Also the other good thing about getting the fender liners out or like uh, autocross events and stuff like that you hit cones and they get sucked up in here these usually get ripped out anyways so it's just one less thing to get hung up on and now this nice open area in the fender here oh yeah should have all the bolts out now I don't know what's up with this mine's still kind of like oh if it's rusted on or what but this should separate okay there it goes it's probably just all the freaking grime in here it's actually gonna make it to where you don't have all this dirt build up which gets nasty and can be a real um, rust problem for whatever reason that was just really stuck down but now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bunch of that dirt out because that stuff just gets freaking nasty this is one of those real problem areas that lots of people get rust what we're gonna do is basically just space this thing out so I'm gonna actually kick it out about this far. Now in doing that, watch my fender up here. See this? Kicking it out about that much. 
it adds quite a bit of clearance, extra clearance right here up in my fender. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kick it out about an inch. Um, before, like watch this side over here. See right here, I hit a little bit of fender before, before I did this, um, because this is like full lock. And if you get a bit of compression uh, in the suspension travel, boom, you're gonna hit right here. Uh, that can happen when you're getting sideways. If you're turning super, super hard, um, you know, under high G, high stress load of suspension, it can load up and start uh, whacking some things. So when this wasn't pulled out, I mean, you can see, if this isn't pulled out, I have an extra inch, it is way closer to the tires. So that's why I'm doing this. So I just have a little stick of aluminum right here. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make a couple bins. Um, so this is basically just gonna be kind of like a U shape. That's gonna be my little, my little spacer piece. If you had some box tube, that would be great. That would work out probably way better, but this is like all I have at the moment. So this is what I'm using. I don't have any box tube at the moment, so that's basically why I'm calling this the free mod. This is just something I had laying around the garage, so just gonna use this. Obviously, if you have something a little bit different, like something a little bit bigger, um, you know, some, some square tube, something like that, that'll work fine. All I have is a uh, round tube. I just have tube, right? Some tube for like roll cage stuff or whatever. And that's all I have at the moment. And I have some flat plates. So this aluminum, lightweight, Another thing, won't rust, and I can just chop this off and boom, put a screw through it. Flush real quick. Whew. All right, so now I should be able to take this, take it up to my hole, and we're gonna have that nice little gap where I can have the perfect amount of uh, fender gap right here. Hold that on nice and tight and just kind of pop my fender out a bit like this to have that extra clearance. And I think that it looks pretty cool from the side. I like the way that it looks on the car and it definitely helps out with any uh, extra angle that you might have on your car. All right, so I got the screw going down through there. Now that fender is uh, also kicked out so you can see got a bit of that wide body look to it. In the future, I do want to do some different stuff, but you can see, you know, under compression, we shouldn't have an issue here. We're gonna have quite a bit more uh, wheel gap, so we shouldn't run into to any issues there. And overall, I really like the look of it. I've seen quite a few people with Miatas do this back in the day, and at like autocross events and racing events. I really like the look of it. It just, it kind of looks really cool, where you just kick it out, just put a spacer in there, and it's an easy way to fit wider tires. These are 15 by eight, so they are fairly wide. I also have, what do I have? I think I have 20, 25 mil. I think like 25 millimeters of spacers up front to get more angle in the front with the uh, aftermarket steering kit that I have from Magnus Racing Team. So that does get me more steering lock. It still actually probably needs bigger spacers. So this is gonna allow me to run some a little bit bigger spacers to where I can get a little bit more angle because I am still hitting my sway bar with my tires. So yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know if you hate it. Let me know if you like it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. I'm trying to get to 50K, so come on, hit that button. Later, guys, wrench on. Yo, is that focused?